house is very easy. Honourable members, I will now allow the Honourable Ichunga to raise his point of order. Thank you, thank you, <coughs> Honourable Clerk. And let me just begin by thanking the Honourable TJ Kajuang on the, for that point of order. Although, unfortunately, uh, Honourable Clerk, and I would really beg this 13th Parliament that we allow each other time to be heard because the Honorable TJ Kajuang has a right to raise whatever issue he wants to raise, and we all have a right to respond, and eventually the presiding officer will probably make a determination. But allow me to just go straight to some of the issues that the Honorable TJ Kajuang has raised. And it is indeed true that one can only be elected a speaker if you are not a sitting member of parliament. That includes members of the Senate. But it is also not true what the Honorable TJ Kajuang alleges, that the Honorable Senator Wetangula resigned on the 9th of August. It is indeed preposterous for the Honorable TJ Kajuang to make an allegation in this house that he cannot substantiate by way probably of tabling a copy of that letter that he purports the Honorable Senator Wetangula resigned on the 9th of August. It is also in my own Honorable, Spe Honorable um, Clerk that the Honorable Moses Wetangula indeed resigned two days after the gazettement of senators by IEBC in the Kenya Gazette. And those are facts. And I want to believe, Madam Clerk, that in your office you have a copy of that letter which the Honorable TJ Kajuang does not have what is purporting here can only be equated to what they said was opaque. <laughs> Honorable Speaker, Honorable Speaker, it is also not true that indeed when the constitution that the Honorable TJ Kajong is quoting says that the term of the of parliament ends ended uh, of the twelfth parliament ended on the eighth of August, it is true. For the Honorable T.J. Kajuang and myself and the Honorable Senator Wetangula, who was a senator in the 12th Parliament. But the office of the Speaker exists in, in perpetuity. And until another Speaker, today as we speak, Madam Clerk, Speaker J.B. Muturi is still the Speaker of the National Assembly until a new Speaker is elected this afternoon. Honorable Speaker... What the Honorable TJ Kajuang, and he knows because he's a seasoned lawyer, he knows what he's, what he's telling the country on live television as a lawyer is not true because the Speaker's office exists in perpetuity and it will until and unless we elect a new Speaker. Speaker J.B. Muturi remains in office. In fact, as we speak, TJ Kajuang, you know Speaker Muturi is seated in his office. In transacting business. Indeed, <laughs> Honorable Speaker, let me no, not even belabor that point. Honorable Speaker, I just want to beseech that we do not spend a lot of time arguing things that are, could be described as rumors, hot air, yeah. things that are opaque. Yeah. And Honorable Speaker, I would beg that you, Honorable Clerk, I would beg that you stick to the rules and procedures of this house and occasion the election of a new speaker to progress without wasting much time. We saw these shenanigans in the bombers of Kenya, the same people who were in bombers, some of them are here, Mr. Speaker, Honorable Chair, Honorable Chair, and I really want to beg that you, you do direct that we proceed. Thank you, Honorable Clerk. Honorable members, I will allow two more members. I will allow the Honorable Wandai. Yes, it's a different issue. No, not about election of speaker. Okay, then I will allow the Honorable um, Duale, please. 